Let's see how to solve a nice equation. You can eliminate the denominators by multiplying both sides by x squared and 100 squared. But you will create a quality equation which may be hard to solve. So let's do it in a smart way. We change both sides to a perfect square. So let's go. So x squared plus 1 over x squared. So we need a plus 2ab, right? 2x and then times 1 over x. Actually, here is 2, so we need to minus 2 to make them balance. Similar for the right side, 100 squared plus 2ab2, 100 times 1 over 100 times 1 over 100 squared. Again, we need to minus 2. Now, we add 2 to both sides to cancel these two terms. Then we get x plus 1 over x squared, the right side, 100 plus 1 over 100 squared. Taking square root for both sides, so we get x plus 1 over x equals plus or minus 100 plus 1 over 100. So we have two cases to consider. The first one, x plus 1 over x equals 100 plus 1 over 100. Now we move these two terms to the left side. So we get x minus 100 plus 1 over x minus 1 over 100 equals 0. We combine these two terms. So we get x minus 100 plus 100x. The top is 100 minus x equals 0. So we take the common factor x minus 100 out, so x minus 100. So the first term has 1, the second term negative 1 over 100x. So minus 1 over 100x equals 0. So we get x minus 100 equals 0, or 1 minus 1 over 100x equals 0. For this one, we get x equals 100. For the second one, move this term right side, 1 equals 1 over 100x. Both sides times 100x, so we get 100x equals 1. So x equals 1 over 100. Let's look at the second case. x plus 1 over x equals uh, negative, right? Negative 100 plus 1 over 100. Similarly, we get x plus 100 plus 1 over x plus 1 over 100 equals 0. Again, combine the second two terms. So we get x plus 100 plus 100x. The top will be 100 plus x equals 0. So take the common factor out, so x plus 100. So thing left for the first term would be 1, the second term would be 1 over 100x equals 0. So we get x plus 100 equals 0, or 1 plus 1 over 100x equals 0. For this one, we get x equals negative 100. For the second one, 1 equals negative 1 over 100x. Both sides times 100x, so we get 100x equals negative 1. So finally, we get x equals negative 1 over 100. Finally, we get four solutions to the given equation. 100, 1 over 100, negative 100, and negative 1 over 100. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.